So hi all. This is a lightning talk on implementing advanced deployment using Spinnaker and Canary. A little about me. I'm currently working as SD2 in Expedia. I've contributed in FOSS Asia as an open source contributor. And in my free time, I like to like blogs and give talks. So you can find me on these platforms uh, under the handle champion paddler. So bad deployments are unavoidable, but definitely we can reduce the damage. So here are uh, deployment strategies we have available in the market. First one is a recreate deployment. Uh, the simplest one, we just uh, delete all the available, uh, we like delete all the available servers and we launch the new version uh, in the server, uh, servers. So we have a downtime in the recreate deployment. Then we have a blue green deployment. And this basically in this deployment, we uh, create an entirely copy stack and we gradually shift the traffic to the newer version. Third one we have is the RAM deployment in which we gradually shift the traffic, but by server by server, rather than creating a identical stack. And the most used in the market is the candy deployment. So rather than completely shifting the traffic, we just shift 5% of traffic or less than the percentage. Have you have questions? So here are the metrics we can have on analysis. So uh, late status, latency on the errors, uh, then the traffic and the saturation. So based on these metrics, we analyze whether are the deployment that we are doing is a good deployment or a bad deployment. So he, here are the steps for the canary. Uh, we do the collection part, uh, and we do uh, then we check whether data is available or not. Uh, in case there are missing data, we go for the handling empty data. Then we do the comparison, and then we do the comp score competition. This can be done both uh, automatic and uh, manual. So it totally depends on the implementation we do. Then there is how Expedia deploys. So currently, uh, we were doing on the blue-green deployment. Now we have introduced the progressive deployments that is a advanced version built on the top of Spinnaker and Canary. So a uh, fact that the total loss of Expedia in the revenue due to changes is 25%. So that is like a quite huge amount for Expedia. And as we are progressing and there will be multiple deployments, uh, we can these, cha these deployments will definitely have uh, issues. So we need to reduce that. Uh, we need need to reduce that issues. So what is a progressive deployment? So uh, f first of all, uh, it is a similar to candy deployment, but yeah, the traffic shift we do is in multiple stages that we have in place, and it is built in the top of uh, Spinnaker. So as you can see on the right hand side, we have two stacks that are available. RCP is the in-house stack of uh, Expedia. Second one is ECS that we are using that is provided by AWS. And uh, whenever there is a deployment uh, and any updates, we do the notification on Slack and also on service now so that, uh, that we get to know using emails. So here is a quick difference. So if we see on uh, left hand side, that is a candy. We initiate the step, do a traffic shift. For example, we do a 5% shift of traffic. Then we check and validate like the deployment's going fine or not, and we do the judgment and promote 100% traffic shift. Or we do a rollback if it is a faulty one. In the progress deployment, rather than uh, like doing this judgment only once, we have do that in multiple stages. So that's why that is a progressive. So you can control uh, the stages, whether uh, you can do for five times or 10 times, it is totally up to you how much percentage you want to shift. So here is a demo. Uh, let me show you a demo for that. This is a demo for progressive deployments. This is my pipeline. And now I will deploy a faulty commit. So if we I expand, so here are the steps. It will deploy to lab, then it will deploy to in. So these are lower environments. 
after that here is the step of progressive deployment execution here we'll be shifting traffic in two steps first in first we'll tra uh, shift 25 percent traffic and then we will see if we are facing any errors on dashboard and then if there are no errors then we will move to 50 50 percent traffic shift so as here there will be error uh, on 25 percent traffic shift so we'll be ruling back so let's see how it happens so right now it deploys state deploy lab stage let's wait till it moves to progressive deploy execution stage so now it has deployed to lab and our integration environment this is the step for progressive deployment execution it has started and this is a 25 percent shift that is taking place there are multiple steps and over this step we'll be shifting the traffic until this is doing other operations so let's see on the dashboard if we see any error so this is the tps and these are the pd matrix so if we see on all of the three primary baseline candy there are no errors coming up because right now uh, till now traffic is not shifted so we will see how it will change when traffic starts shifting on this step so this stuff will be waiting for total 25 percent traffic shift so now 25 percent traffic shift is done if we see can we has like 38 errors so we can see in the new deployment we are facing the errors whereas for primary baseline there is no errors coming up so like previous version was stable new version has faulty so even can versus baseline we see can we one has more has the error where the baseline is stable one now over the pipeline we see we have moved to uh, so we get two options approve or reject as 25 percent traffic is shifted we can either approve and it will move to shifting 50 percent of traffic else we can reject and it will move to the failure state and then it will go to the rollback rollback so let's reject as our commit is faulty and we are doing manual judgment over here and let's go to reject let's reject this yeah so now it went to the failure state and now it is going to the rollback state now it will be doing the rollback task that we have defined for that stage so this is how td works if you have multiple can this uh, traffic shift over here and uh, we can approve or reject at every step so this is the major difference between pd and can Yeah, so Expedia has also open source projects. You can check it out, open source projects by Expedia. And yeah, thank you. Any questions? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there is a rollback stage. Sorry. Yeah, we go back uh, at this stage after failure, uh, it will be going to rollback stage. So we have existing stack available, we will just roll back. Yeah, so any more questions? Yeah, it is a custom plugin built by Expedia. Uh, no, right now we, that is a debate topic we are having in the organization only. So like, uh, as we have a very high traffic and like even a traffic shift of one and 2% that gets affected, we have a very bad ex customer experience and we are like handling very uh, like high customers. So we right now are moving with manual judgment only, but we are experimenting. 
that we can go with uh, automating it. So hopefully in the future, we will be moving to a complete automation. Yeah. Yeah, so for our service, actually we are right now currently migrating to RCP only. So that we are right now in the shifting stage for RCP, then we will be implementing that, uh, this one progressive deployments, but for other services, I think they are currently using it. So like 326 services are onboarded on the progressive deployments. But I think with this, we don't need to have rule back. That is the trust we have. So RCP is a custom uh, infrastructure that we build up on top of Kubernetes. So right now what happens is, uh, for, for multiple services, we get allotted a number of instances, but we are not utilizing them completely. So if we take large instances, like MX large, that is one of the instances on AWS, but our utilization is shifting because in the PST time zone, we have the huge traffic, but when it comes to IST time zone, we have the least traffic because most of the customers are in the US only. So in that cases, uh, and also for services uh, which are like tier one services in Expedia, we have fixed number of instances. So we don't descale. So we can see that there is infrastructure cost that we can reduce definitely. So our space infrastructure, that, uh, infrastructure layer that mandates and controls uh, and automatically scales services uh, basically. So that was the main purpose of introducing our space. So everyone follows a, a fixed standard and uh, re resources can be utilized properly because infrastructure cost is quite high, so we are trying to reduce that using RCP. Any other question? Yeah. So if Spinnaker is centralized, then we are Yeah, Spinnaker is centralized. Uh, as you can see in the... V, uh, yeah, that is centralized, and all the... We handle using application name, so you can go over and search your application. Yeah, that's centralized. 